from Zaranda. This is the ferry exit harbor towards Greece. And here you see this new town. It's a new town. This is the harbor building. And here you see this amazing hotel row. I've been here, I think, I think 15 years ago, the last time, and was really much less developed there. The immensity of the development is really surprising and it's also very clean and very well done. This is a very good restaurant here, I can recommend it. Over there I was there. And here you see up in the hills they build everything like in Budva, like in Petrovac. And of course here the old city town is missing. There was not a lot, there is maybe something up on the hill I've not seen. But the scenic view is amazing and I really love it. What is missing here is of course a lot, uh, honestly. The highway towards Saranda is missing, the so-called Adriatic Ionian Highway. There needs to be a regional, a regional um, airport as well. The planned one in Flora is not good enough, it needs absolutely one in Saranda as well. Not in Chirocaster, but behind the hills here directly, in a 50 minutes drive. This will, uh, the whole Riviera here, the Saranda Xamil Himara area, which is quite different from the central Dami in the north. Uh, you have to really make this a uh, own touristic center. And it's a lot of investment here from Ukraine coming in. Now a lot of Ukrainians have decided to live here. But that's very good. And you have this connection with uh, Greece via the ferry today. And I think it's absolutely time to consider a double uh, highway bridge over the Corfu Straits. This is, I think, a wonderful way to, to do that. And that's what we need to do. And you see this amazing view, this wonderful outline. I really like it. And here, this is now the spread wheel moving out of Saranda. Tourism is not as good as last year, but it's okay. And then you have this road towards Stamil, which I showed you, the Caribbean of Europe. I think it's absolutely the case. Greece, anyhow, fantastic. Albania, Montenegro, Croatia. What a better world is just at the footsteps of Vienna. It needs a regional airport and the highway, of course. And with Vienna, all the Central European tourists can easily access this. Flying here is good to Tirana, but the Flora Airport and the Saranda Airport are absolutely needed. I like to have it in. And you can compare Saranda very much to Dubrovnik and Flora to Split. And of course, you need uh, airport in all these destinations. You see here now, hotel by hotel, apartment block by apartment block. This should be also the Ali Pasha Bay. This should be the Himara Bay. I'm really surprised that the other bays in the north, in between, from Bosch to Himara and to Cheparo, are not as developed up to now. This is really how it should be done. And most of the development is very good. Saranda, very clean city, very developed. Here you see up to the hill, place at place, a wonderful I've talked already about uh, politics a bit, the uh, NATO summit, you know, no single member since 2020 when North Macedonia joined. We didn't accept uh, Kosovo and Bosnia, that will haunt us in the summer. Similar like the Bucharest summit, and we will see that many people will come to regret the non decisions of Washington. Biden is a very good friend of Kosovo and of Ukraine, but at the end of the day, his surrounding is this kind of appeasement philosophy, escalation management of Serbia and Russia, and that's of course a big, big no go, a big mistake. And of course, Ukraine should also be invited to NATO. I will give you another view here. City. That's very good. It's really amazing. I like it. And here you see the amazing view of Saranda on the road to Xamil. This is really very nice.
here over there, that's the outskirts of Saranda. Just to give you a little bit of, I don't want to lose my phone here. <laughs> but it's a really amazing view, which you can see. <laughs> and you have all these beautiful people and going to Cafu now together. And that's amazing. Over there, that's Lotz Camille, that's one of the former uh, prior the middle peninsula, it's the Putrin channel. Behind here there is this famous Putrin uh, lake as well, very beautiful. This is of course very good material. Here there is a lot of touristic development still under development over there. The beaches, the hotels. Yeah, Albania is in NATO, as is North Macedonia, Montenegro, that was the success of the last decade. And we need to get them all now in the European Union, and of course Albania needs to adopt the Euro, there's no doubt. And also Ukraine needs to adopt the Euro, and now with the new commission being formed, I hope there will be some decency to have some real progress at the start of the next mandate under Ursula II. And I hope that it will be, I think, I have done and prepared the ideological case for enlargement of OECD globally, WTO globally, reform of the UN, and of course the enlargement of Schengen, the Euro, and NATO and the EU. And we are a little bit stuck here, but I hope that progress will be possible for Moldova, for Austria, for Malta, for Ireland, and all the other countries, Cyprus obviously. It's really amazing. Yeah. I will give you more updates when I see them in the second video. Thanks a lot. Bye.